Hey guys, Superintendent here, and I'm here for another Xcode tutorial for you today. Um, so this is a remake of one of my older Xcode tutorials, um, and uh, this tutorial is about how to make a tab bar application. So go ahead and select tab bar application. So start a new project and select tab bar application. I'm going to call mine tab bar app. Save on the desktop, and let's just open the window a bit bigger. Alright, so if we go into our resources folder, uh, you'll notice we have three different UI files. First, first view, main window, and second view. So what we're going to do is get rid of first view and second view. And we're just going to move them to the trash. And now what we have left is main window.xib, so open this. Um, and now you notice that the window doesn't actually appear, you just get the f this folder down here, your XIB folder, and that has your file zone and all the other things in it, um, which you would normally expect to find. But the difference is this time, obviously, we can't see our window, it's really annoying. And if we go into Expose, you'll notice the window sort of just disappears. So this is a, a weird, but actually, you know, weird and odd way uh, to get around this problem. Um, this isn't the actual way of getting around this problem, um, but this does work, it works perfectly fine, no errors, nothing, um, and you know, it's perfectly acceptable by Apple as well. So basically, in our uh, UI folder, you'll see it says tab bar application. If you just delete this and then control Z, it will come back again, and then just double click on it. You'll notice this time our uh, UI uh, has just appeared. Now, I don't know exactly why that is, um, sort of odd uh, why it does that, um, but you know, that's the way it is. And obviously, once again, this isn't the actual official way of how you make a tab or application um, on the iPhone 4 SDK, but it still works perfectly fine. So anyway, you'll notice we have two tabs now, one for first and one for second. And if you click on the first one, it says loaded from first view. If you click on the second tab, it says loaded from second view. So I'm just going to get rid of the second tab and the first tab. In fact, I'm going to get rid of that as well. So just get rid of all the tabs. And then come into our library folder. Let's add a few tabs. So I'm just going to add two tab bar items. And I'm going to call the first tab, I don't know, tab 1. And the second tab, I'm going to call it tab 2. OK. So now we've got two tabs, so now we need to assign view controllers to both of these tabs and add view files for both of these tabs as well. So just before we add the view to each tab, we're actually going to make the view controller. So just hide Interface Builder and come into your Classes folder. So what we're going to do is to make a view controller for every tab. So that's a so a view controller is a .h file and a .m file. And the, each .h and .m file, or each view controller, each, each set of view controller gets assigned to one tab. So for example here, the first view controller .h and .m get assigned to the first tab. Now just to say you don't have to call it first view controller and second view controller, you can call it info page for your info page, or video page, or whatever, you can call it whatever you want, whatever controller, anything, just give it a name. Um, but as it happens here in Xcode, we've got a first view controller dot h and a first view controller dot m. So I'm going to use the first view controller dot h and dot m for my first tab, and then I'm going to make another view controller dot uh, h and dot m for the second tab. So to make a new one, just right click on your classes folder, click add, and then click new file. And then you see here we've got a file saying view controller subclass. So we're just going to click this, make sure you haven't got any of these items selected, you don't need any of these selected here. Uh, all you need is to have this view controller selected, so UI view controller subclass. Click next and name it whatever you want. So for example, if this is going to be the code files for your info page, you would call it info page or info view controller. I'm just going to call this tab two. That's what I'm going to call it. And then you'll save. And you notice we have a view uh, tab2.h file and a tab2.m file. So the, the .h and .m file, um, which I call tab2, are for the second tab, and the first view controller .h and .m files are for the um, first tab. So now let's come back into uh, Interface Builder. And we're going to assign these view controllers to each tab. So tab1, just click tab1, 
and now come into your uh, inspector and in the identity tab you'll see there's a little uh, sort of section for class so now we're just going to type in first view controller and it, as and as you can see uh, Xcode automatically finds your first view controller files and I'll just click enter and now save so now if we sort of understand what we've done um, we've linked this view controller dot h and dot m file these two files okay have been linked to this tab here and we're going to do the same for the second tab except this time we're going to link the dot h and dot m file for the um, for tab 2 uh, to our second tab so just click on the second tab um, and then click on your come into your inspector click on identity and click on the class section and then just type in tab 2 and just save that so there we have it we've just assigned a vcontrol.h.m for the first tab and a vcontrol.h.m for the second tab okay all right so the next main thing we're going to need to do is now to add a view to each of these tabs so for tab one i'm just going to drag and drop a view all right and for the second tab i'm going to drag and drop a view as well for every tab you would do this and i'll just save and now you can just add anything you want to your interface so let's just go ahead and uh, i'm going to add a navigation bar hello whatever um, I like to put my in black translucent I just think it looks better I save and then I'm just gonna add a label page one and then I'm going to add another label um, which is going to be on tab two and we're just gonna add navigation bar to the top I'm gonna call this I whatever you get the point I'm just gonna make a point in this interface here but um, page two all right whatever you get the point um, so we can now add anything we want to our tabs um, and yeah that's it really so just save um, and we're just gonna build and run Alright, so there we have it, our tab 1, and then when we click on tab 2, there's our second tab. So there you go, it's actually really simple. Um, this is just the way I make tab bar applications on the iPhone 4.0 SDK. Once again, this isn't the actual way of making them, but by the way, can I just say this works perfectly fine. This is what I used to do on the 3.0 SDK, except I didn't have to do that stupid um, delete and then control Z method for bringing up the window file. Um, but as you can see it works perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with our tab bar application Now what we want to do is to add code and get our application working um, So just for I might want to go in a bit more in depth in this application. So I just want to talk a bit about um, How this would all work out. So for example, you'll, you'll know as I said before that we assigned the first view control dot h and dot m files for the first tab so whatever for example if you wanted to add a ui web view you would add all the code in your dot h and dot m file in the first view control dot h and dot m files and then if you wanted to add code for a different tab you would use the assigned dot h and dot m files for that tab if you see what i mean okay so basically what we've done is we linked each set of code to a tab and now we've just and now all we have to do is add the code to the specific set of um, view controller files and then that would if that code uh, we can then just link it up in that interface uh, in our tabs so what I'm going to show you now is the linking of the code in a tab application